Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will be producing some hydrobromic acid. To begin, we can measure out 330 grams of potassium bromide and dissolve it in 500 milliliters of water. I have some solid potassium bromide that was given to me, but you can also find potassium bromide dissolved in solution as a pool chemical at some hardware stores. Next, 400 grams of sodium bisulfate was measured out and added to the potassium bromide solution. Sodium bisulfate could be purchased as a pool chemical. Alternatively, sulfuric acid could be used from sulfuric acid-based drain cleaners, but the addition must be done dropwise with an addition funnel as it is very exothermic. To help the sodium bisulfate dissolution, the solution was heated up to 70 degrees Celsius. It was then placed in a freezer to crystallize out some of the sodium and potassium sulfate, which are produced as a side product in the reaction. After crystallizing, the liquid was decanted from the crystals, and the solution was placed in a distillation apparatus. Initially, mostly water came over, and then hydrobromic acid started distilling. As more liquid distilled over, some elemental bromine began forming and filled the apparatus. This is likely from the degradation of the hydrogen bromide. There was also hydrogen bromide being generated directly as a gas and being passed out of the apparatus, so a tube leading into a beaker of water was attached to collect this hydrogen bromide as well. As the hydrogen bromide bubbles into the water, the bubbles dissolve before reaching the surface, which is pretty cool. Once no more hydrogen bromide was evolved, the apparatus was cooled, and the bromine-contaminated hydrobromic acid from the hydrogen bromide dissolution was added to the hydrobromic acid that distilled over. Unfortunately, at this point, it got busy, and the crude hydrobromic acid sat in the back of my fume hood for six years. I did cover it with saran wrap, however, so there was minimal loss due to evaporation, and six years later, there was still about 450 milliliters of liquid. During the six years, the bromine left the solution, and it became clear, so the acid just needed to be concentrated. The crude acid was added to an Erlenmeyer flask, and a fractional distillation apparatus was set up. The temperature was increased until water began to distill over around 100 degrees Celsius. Water was collected until the temperature reached 124 degrees Celsius, which indicated that concentrated azeotropic hydrobromic acid was distilling over. The receiving flask was swapped out for an acid storage bottle, and the concentrated hydrobromic acid was collected. In the end, 226 milliliters of concentrated azeotropic hydrobromic acid was collected, corresponding to a 68.1% yield based on the starting potassium bromide. This is surprisingly good considering it sat for so many years. This hydrobromic acid will be used in a future project to dissolve some beryllium oxide insulators. I hope you guys enjoyed this project, and I'll see you in a future video. Okay, bye.